Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review for you all, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is an action revenge film from Germany. This is spoken in the Rayushin language, no subtitles, released in the year 2017, directed by Felix Randall, and this film is called Iceman. So Iceman is about uh, a man that has been found frozen in the glaciers. The authorities believe that he was a hiker, but when they do tests on him, it turns out he dates back 5,000 years. And so the film goes back 5,000 years, and we're introduced to this man who's a hunter, and when he's out hunting one day his family is slaughtered by unknown assailants and so he's hell-bent on revenge he's going to track them through the harsh unrelenting wilderness and he's not going to stop until he gets what he wants and so whether or not he can avenge his family is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Iceman. This movie was somewhat of a rarity, uh, and what I mean by that is that no one really talks about this film, and so there was no outside influence. And that's something that I love about world cinema, especially world cinema independent stuff, that no one really talks about these movies, so you go in there with a fresh slate. When it comes to Hollywood, it's all about making your money back, so the build-up and the hype is going to let you know exactly what's coming. But when fo oh, foreign cinema, this is why I love it, because you get these movies that you really hadn't heard of, and recently I've come across quite a few of them, and Iceman was no different. So what was I going to get with Iceman? My expectation levels were at a very cautious level, but I was very excited. When I saw the trailer, I thought this looks like a movie that dates back 5,000 years. It looks like the run-of-the-mill sort of revenge film, but it looked very beautiful in the cinematography, and I was hoping that Felix Randau could provide something different. And after watching Iceman, that's exactly what Felix Randau delivers, something very different. Now, on the outside, it's a very simplistic film about a man who's trying to avenge the death of his family. You've seen it done time and time again. So the simplicity in the storytelling is there, but what I really liked about it is that there's complexity thrown into that simplicity because of the fact you have no subtitles. You don't know what these people are saying. So on one side, you've got that you know, predictable sort of uh, you know, method of you know, storytelling, but on the other side, you have a sense of ambiguity because you don't know exactly what's going on through these characters. This is a movie that is based on a lot of body language, and so it's a very harsh and unrelenting film, but at the same time, a very respectful and very realistic film. If they were speaking in German or English, you could really get out of the, the sense that you're back 5,000 years, but because they're speaking in an ancient sort of language, I could really get into the world building that Felix Randau was creating. So that world is a very beautiful world, it's a very, un, uh, yeah, very beautiful landscape, but at the same time very harsh and unrelenting. These hunters, you know, basically back then it was a very, very brutal world, and I thought that brutality was told in a very uh, you know, vivid style. I thought the violence was extremely hard-hitting, it doesn't glorify the violence, it's actually very, very brutal, which actually took me by surprise. There's uh, a very matter-of-fact attitude towards sex. There's some very strange sexual encounters that this movie depicts. There's also some sexual violence that really took me back as well. And so the violence is very unflinching, hard-hitting. There are themes in this movie that are very uncomfortable, but again, it dates back 5,000 years, so things were a lot different, and I felt as though the film was a lot different. They were depicting humans that weren't quite the same as us. And so I thought there was a lot of uh, research into this movie that created that sense that I am in a world that I have no, absolutely no idea what's going on, but I want to see those answers to the questions that are being asked through the sense of that uncertainty. So I thought it was a really smart thing to do because if it was in German or yeah, it did have subtitles, you could really know what's going on, therefore it would have been just another revenge film. But in this movie, there were moments where a character does something, and then later on in the film, he will see someone else and do something completely different, and so that's where that sense of what is going on. You can actually create a story inside your own head. But it is not complex, uh, it's not too complex in that you can't really follow what's going on. And so there are issues I have with the dialogue that I'll go into a little bit later, but I thought as that was a really white, smart way of telling a very generic story in a very different way. And so if that sounds like your kind of thing, I definitely highly recommend this movie. Uh, the action choreography was very frenetic, very fast-paced, and some of the moments I just saw had me on the edge of my seat. Very, very suspenseful. And so that's all very good. The runtime of the movie is the biggest issue I have with this experience. That yeah, This is a film that doesn't have subtitles. And so I really like the idea that it's simplistic enough in its formula, but unfortunately there are moments that really become stagnant. There are moments where the characters interact with each other, but because you don't know exactly what they're saying, it just feels like a little bit of a filler. It feels like a little bit of a waste of time, because you want to get into the conversations, but you can't. And so if this movie was cut by about 10 to 20 minutes, I thought it would have been perfect, because it would have been that action style of film that is taken place in a world that is very foreign, but a very foreign sort of experience in not knowing what was actually said. But when you got these characters, when the movie stops its action set pieces and they start to talk to each other, I thought 
as though it kind of defeated the purpose of what the movie was trying to go for. And so if you want to be part of the conversation, you need to know what that conversation is about. And I just thought as though there were L uh, moments in the film where it really paused and it didn't really go anywhere and you kind of want to, uh, you're waiting until the next action set piece takes place, the next moment of brutality takes place. And the film builds itself as action slash thriller and I really thought as though it nailed that element, but there were other moments where I thought as though this was a story that didn't quite have the content to make it to a feature film. I thought as though there was moments that were really elongated to a point where I actually noticed that it was starting to outstay its welcome. But pushing that aside, it's still a, a different style of revenge film that I would highly recommend if you are into these movies that they take place by 5,000 years, take place in very foreign worlds, and that world creates a, a certain sense of unforgiving brutality that will really have, have you on the edge of your seat. And so if it sounds like you're kind of thing, go out there and see it. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a cut above a lot of revenge films. So overall, for Iceman, going to give this one three stars. Go out there and see it. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, you watch movies, and I'll see you there. Bye.